Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about Townstar. This is my brother's account and I am teaching him how to um, do some things on here and he wanted to do baguettes. Now I, when I saw the post that they made that they pinned about baguettes and butter and different things, I thought that they were giving special amounts of points to those, but I don't think that they were. I think they just finalized the number of points. Okay, so what he's been doing is he's on the monthly server, so he's not feeling quite as much pressure as as we do, you know, for the weekly competition. Uh, let's see what place he's in. He is in, uh, it looks like he's number five, right? But I don't know that he's necessarily trying to compete, but more of trying to learn. So what I'm doing now is um, he has uh, he has built up, he's built some grapes, not maybe as many as, as we would sometimes like to build, but, uh, but he's actually put some over here too. Uh, but you can't really put them right next to the the ocean. Now he could have put grapes over here, but they would be uh, yellow, more yellow and red right here. And uh, so, you know, I kind of advised him that it might not be worth his while, but as long as he left this running, it, it probably wouldn't have hurt too much. Uh, they, they just would have been really slow growing. Okay, so what I want to do is, first of all, I do research to see. I've never done baguettes before. Anything that you're going to do, you might want to research. Now, the website that I use, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it, is called townstar.guid guide. Um, and so I will put the link in the description for this guide. But basically, I looked it up, and um, to make baguettes, it takes two dough, two butter, and two wood. Well, wood is a piece of cake. We've already got wood coming in, right? So that's not an issue. Um, and then you've got butter and dough. So I know about butter because I've done some other bakery items. But I did not know about dough. And so this is really going to be a dough and baguette uh, video. Because I'm not going to make a separate video on each of those. Uh, but so um, to make dough, it takes five flour, one egg, and one butter. Okay, so everything keeps coming back to butter here for the baguettes we need butter for the dough we need butter and so and just in my thinking butter needs to be our first real thing that we're making and for those who maybe have forgotten uh, to make butter we need two milk two salt and one sugar and so what I need to do is um, I've got already got a space picked out for some salt production and um, I, I just need to get it set up probably over here next to the trees do something similar to this and uh, get some sugar cane production what I'm probably going to do is go ahead and map the town out in a way that that makes more sense now this is just a long haul over to the uh, lumber mill and you know the the thing of it is when we're done building we're not going to need continuous lumber Okay, we're going to 
we're, we're just going to need some wood after that. So, the fact that we, we, we're about as far as we can be away from our lumber mill is not going to hurt us long term. It may slow our building down a, just a little bit, but it's not going to be that big of a deal, okay? So, um, just want you to know that if you were planning out a long-term strategy or an in-game strategy for your uh, town, you're not going to want to have something like this where you've got three lumber mills over here and all your trees over in this corner and they have to go all the way across the whole town. You'd rather it be where they can just run straight up. Now, I had kind of intended to do that with this one, but then I realized that I've got my ocean here. So what I could have done is, if this was going to be something where I needed lumber, I just count over three and make it right here. At least that way it's not, you know, as far as over there. But that's something to consider. Now, I don't want to make this video so long that nobody has time to watch it. So, I'm going to pause right here and I'll be back when I've got some more to talk about. Hey guys, um, I just wanted to get back with you and I was doing some testing. I noticed on the sheep pens that I think that they were giving one shade to your crops, but they don't give any now. But if you notice this uh, cow pen is giving two shade, okay? So it gives uh, one, two over, and then this way, one, two. And um, so it, it would actually if you're doing the one two over it'd be one two over so this one is okay so just keep that in mind I, I was doing this test to just to make sure that uh that the cows i don't want to tell my brother and tell you guys things that are i try to tell you things that are true and they are true normally as of the time that i am taping it <laughs> but they do change things and they don't always tell us about it so uh, I do uh, try and keep you guys uh, aware of changes that they make okay so just wanted you to know I had said before in my video on cows that they do give shade to shade and if you don't know about the different things on shade this occurred to me if you go back and look at the visualizer video for the Citadel of the Wind, you could pull that up and put a cow uh, barn down and see, uh, to, you know, turn on the shade effect and put it down somewhere. It doesn't even have to be the same kind of map that you're doing. Just real quick, you can test it that way. Um, that probably would have been a better way, but I always just like to... To make sure. So, just letting you know that the cow barn is two shades. So, keep that in mind with your build. Now, also, I did a little analytics, and you know, sometimes I don't explain this part because I don't actually have to do it. Like, once you've built a cake town, you kind of know, okay, well, I need about this many of this and this many of that. But I've never done baguettes before. So, um, this is, I showed my brother this already, and so I just wanted to let you guys know what I did. So I looked, and baguettes need two dough, two butter, and two wood. We already talked about that. And then the dough that we need two of, it needs five flour, one egg, and one butter. Okay, so what we would do is look at the baguettes and I can say okay with the baguettes it needs two dough so that would be ten flour 
and two eggs because I would just mul multiply the, the dough ingredients by two. And it also requires two butter if you're doing two dough. So that would make my total to do a baguette 10 flour, two eggs, and four butter. Then if I look at the ingredients to make butter, you need two salt, two milk, and two sugar. I mean one sugar. I'm sorry, excuse me. One sugar. And so you would say, well, I need, it takes four butter, you know, indirectly to make one baguette. So I'm going to need to multiply my ingredients by, of sugar by four. So I would need four salt, four milk, I mean, eight salt, four, eight milk, and four sugar. Sorry, I'm getting these numbers confused. And then if you also add to our ingredients list, we're going to have 10 flour and 2 eggs. And the reason why I'm thinking about that, which, you know, you might be like, well, you're just really trying to overanalyze things. Really, I'm not. The reason why I'm, I'm trying to figure it out is when I'm like, how many brine patches do I need? You know, and that, well, that depends on how much salt I need. So if I say that for every baguette, I'm going to need eight salt. And for every baguette, I'm going to need 10 flour. Then I can look at it and say, well, I need to be able to get probably at least eight windmills doing salt and and ten doing flour. Now the thing that's a little bit tricky about that is they're not equal. When you're doing salt it takes six brine to make one salt. When you're doing flour it takes five wheat to make one flour. So if you look at it in those terms, we're talking about 48 brine versus 50 wheat would give us 8 salt and 10 flour. So we're going to have close to the same amount of crops of brine or salt fields versus wheat fields. So I'm just letting you know, I need to experiment with it a little bit, but I'm letting you know kind of where am I starting from? How am I thinking through the process? That way, if they come up with a new product or something and you want to be the first to, to get out there and really, you know, build it, make it, create it, you kind of know how to get these numbers. And so that's what I'm starting with. I'm sort of just doing some deep dive analysis and I'm going to go from there. So bear with me. Uh, I know my brother is very patient and I really appreciate that. And if you guys could be a little patient, uh, of course for you it'll be pretty quick. I'll be just like pausing the video and coming back. So I'll be back. Alright guys, um, I am still very elementary getting set up. I just wanted to remind everyone that um, there is the element of water. You have to make sure that the salt and the cows all get three water. And another good thing about salt fields is I can start them and just stop them. Uh, unlike other crops, uh, I don't know if you've worked with salt before, but the, this is what I like about it, is I can just go ahead and turn all these on and stop them. And so that is a wonderful thing. Uh, I'm not ready for it. Sometimes I'll 
set stuff up and leave it sitting there uh, ready to go and I forget what I'm doing and I'll click on it and I'll activate it and then I'll be like oh no I've got to delete that because I'm not ready for it and da -da -da. anyway so that is a good thing uh, like I say I'm going to be restructuring I had a couple of wells over here I put two over here so they would be close by and these jokers just want to come over here and this this is part of the programming stuff that that irritates me with this game but uh, but it, it is a game and it is fun so uh, don't let things irritate you sometimes I, I get irritated about little things which really you know when you think about it at the end of the day does, has that really made a difference in my life not really uh, so anyway just wanted to come back and remind you that when you're setting this up you don't want to build like cows all the way out and then realize of course I've got plenty of money here it wouldn't be a big deal but it but it takes time to build stuff and then you would realize that you have to go back and build a um, and I am going to continue this road up I just right now um, want to uh, grow grapes for a while uh, while I'm setting this up and um, it allows my brother to get points and you know not fall too far, far behind I know he doesn't really care that much but um, the farther you, you know how it is the farther you get out of the top the harder it is to catch up but anyway um, that's where we are just wanted to make a reminder about when you're setting up of course you'll see all of this probably before so you would know that but um, just a reminder uh, that we need water to uh, get things set up probably what I'm going to do is try putting cows all the way up I might leave a spot here uh, and see if we need another cow. I don't know if we need as many cows as we have that. We're gonna have we're gonna have a need for as much salt as we do milk. But if you've got your uh, ranchers set up and everything running properly, what I'll do is I'll probably make the road come down through here and set up some uh, grinders and troughs in this area and then maybe uh, like I say if I don't need this for a cow maybe I'll put a chicken house here and if I do need that then I'll put my chicken house somewhere else but the number of eggs that we're going to need versus milk is going to be eight to two so uh, I'll need one egg for every four so it's like one-fourth as many eggs uh, as I do milk so we definitely at least want four uh, of these versus one chicken house but here's the thing if I uh, I'm gonna have to have at least one chicken house right I mean that's bottom line to get eggs you need a chicken house now if it produces way too many eggs that I don't need then then that's just another thing that I have to put on my script to auto sell if I get you know more than say if I reach um, I usually put stuff like that at five that way if it gets to 15 then I sell and it's not taking up all my room in my storage uh, storehouse and um, anyway we'll talk more about those kinds of details as we go but so far uh, you see where we're going with this just making sure that I have enough water to take care of these now I probably could have put this pond behind here maybe made enough room to kind of get in to take care of it but the farmers are going to get in there it's not going to be a big deal I hope and so if you have a better method 
uh, just keep in mind that the quicker the farmers can get back there to pick it, the better off you are. So I think this is okay. You might be able to do something a little better. Like you might have decided, well, let me put put it here, make the road go to here. But the way I'm doing it, I wanted the road here. So just stuff to think about, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, um, I forgot to mention the sugar. For the, I was comparing the salt and the wheat, or the flour, uh, the brine and the flour, and blah, blah, blah. Well, we're going to also need for every salt, every two salt, we're going to need a sugar in order to make our butter. So, we're going to need about half as many um, sugar cane or, or sugar as we have salt. Now, I'm not saying that that's going to translate to um, fewer plants. I kind of want to leave it open so that we can have, um, like, add extra wheat if we need it or whatever. Now, if we need extra salt we can definitely move this joker and put salt here however uh one two three that w is going to be affected i think by the pollution from this ship and there's not really anywhere else i can put this so we might have to deal with that. We might have to put a salt field up here. It's um, it's slower. These right here are full speed. This is like the next down. So if we had to add, we'll probably have to add one here and one here. Um, just, just so you know. And you know, worst case scenario, we could add them all the way up to there, but they're, they're gonna lose some of their speed when we do that. Uh, they're not going to produce as quickly. Now the, um, or we might could uh, remove this. We're not really going to need a, uh, we're not going to be selling them in groups of uh, 100. And I don't remember what, what my brother let me see where he's set up at. Okay. In order to get a a spot, he had to set up here. And I think this is the closest town. I might be wrong. Let's see what does it say. Fort Fortalenza. And let's see. Um Okay, so this one is saying that Manaus, Manaus. Okay, so that's saying this one is uh, closer by sea, uh, but I would think they're not much different. It says right here. Uh, anyway. This is really just details about his layout. What I'm thinking is, if you have picked a good spot, if you could get a good spot, then you can probably, uh, let me see how we are facing. Salt is on top. So, basically, if I put a, I could put a trade pier, right? I mean, a trade uh, depot right there and and that would be fine. So I could get rid of this. I'm not going to be selling baguettes in groups of a hundred. I don't think I'm going to be producing them that fast. It'd be nice, but I don't think that I am. And it's not really going to be as far as uh, gas goes. I'm spending eight for for. Uh, that and it's probably just one gas for eight 
from here. So it, it's only like per hundred sold, it's only like two more gas. So that's what I'm going to do. As soon as I get done with these um, uh, things here, the grapes, uh, I might just go ahead and get rid of those to not have to keep worrying with it. And what I'll probably do is rethink this water situation because, let's see, from the river we've got five, four, three, two, and then this one gets one from that, and this one gets two, or gets one from the uh, five, four, three, two, one from the river and two from this. So, and then this one gets two, and if it could get one, I could actually skip one. Put it right here. I'll probably put one here and delete this. Uh, oh, where are we at? Ponds. Uh, and delete this one in the middle after I make it, because right now it's giving two water to that. And... Um, and then we can have more salt. And here's the thing with salt. You know, with me putting it next to this wind turbine, that really doesn't matter. I'm going to get rid of this um, farmer. Um, because the reason why it doesn't matter with salt is it, it's not affected by shade. It is, however, affected by pollution. So, um pretty soon. I think after I sell this time, I am going to get rid of the grapes. Um, but there again, this is like minor details about my, well, my brother's bill, but uh, the build that I'm working on right now. So, uh, you guys, just hang tight. I'll be back with some more good info. I just wanted you to know that I am going to need to put in about half as many um, uh, what do you call these sugar cane as I have uh, salt and so uh, I'm going to be working on that as well and what I'm trying to do is get my crops and dairy uh, in place so that I can better determine where I want to build my buildings because I mean it is so easy to move a crop but uh, moving a uh, building takes a lot more time and effort uh, than uh, than these crops do. Anyway, uh, I'm rambling now. I'll, I'll get on this and get back as soon as I can with some more details. Okay, guys, you can see I haven't really gotten very far. What I'm doing at the moment is I am getting um, little parts set up the way that I know that they need to be. What I did was I figured out what might possibly be required for uh, sugar cane down in the bottom and maybe even in between the the ponds all of these uh, spots that I have left open down here get eight water so it's not a problem to let me see uh, one two over yeah so it's five six seven and then eight and these in the middle get four and then two on each side which is four more so they get eight so anyway all these have eight water and then up through here and these two uh, rows I'm thinking that I could utilize four wheat or you know if I I think this is overkill as far as the sugar cane goes. I don't think I'll need this many. But if with these ponds right here also, this up here, this is five, four, three, two, plus one from this, 
uh, will give me three water up here so I can grow wheat without it being watered on both of these rows okay and so that um, I think is going to be plenty enough room for wheat and sugar cane hopefully this is enough room for my salt I have 10 salt fields and that's that would be 10 every 20 seconds if I turn those on um, so what I'm doing here is figuring out a um, a ranching plan right now I've got uh, six grinders and two troughs what I could do is uh, if I need to get rid of one of these troughs and put another grinder um, and I'm planning to to put my chickens here uh, if if things need to change then I'll have to figure it out might have to take you know a little bit of this area if I don't need it for the sugar cane and the um, and I should only need half the sugar cane on what I need but you never know okay so I've planned for this I might be able to take some of it back for the ranching aspect of it I put a uh, lumber yard there because I, if you've ever done any ranching you realize that um, the ranchers when when these cows they need wood one wood every time they produce and so does the chicken and if if they need wood and the lumberjack hasn't been able to run or the logger hasn't been able to run over here and give them wood yet the rancher will go wherever there is wood and bring it back so if you keep a a lumber yard nearby it, it saves a lot of time on these ranchers running around I mean even if the loggers are not putting it here they're putting it over here or up here or whatever you know if you've got 12 ranchers that go and get it and bring it back well then they'll they'll stock this theirself because whenever they whoever gives the wood the rest of them will return it to a empty spot so anyway that is in my opinion uh, a good practice to have some sort of wood storage near the uh, livestock the ranchers otherwise are not very efficient they're not all that efficient anyway but but they're not terrible okay so um, I, I've spilt these silos here uh, shade does not affect that and evidently pollution does not either because this I turn it on I look at it and it's green okay so I'm gonna stop it because I'm not ready for it but um, and it's two doors down from a and these usually do four uh, so really its reach should be to here as far as pollution but evidently salt is not bothered by it. I know that the livestock is so that's all right because we're way way below that uh, area and hopefully this is going to be enough cows if not I might have to redo this area and add more cows and for sure take away some of my farming area uh, but but we'll see how it goes okay um, this is my first uh, experience at making baguettes it may turn out that this town is not ideal but by the time we're through my brother and you guys are gonna know what is good or bad as far as that goes now what I'm doing here you can see I've deleted and I've got that uh, forklift working so I'm going to delete that worker house and I've got uh, I think plenty of of wood and lumber that I can uh, create some things and these are oh oops I, I've got it set to uh, delete or, or to sell wheat or wood here's what you have to do with your scripts if you're needing to make lumber and this script hasn't I haven't 
uh, changed it, and I don't know, I guess my brother hasn't thought to change it either. But what you do is when you have a script running, you can set it so that if I know I have, say, 60 places to store wood and lumber, and I'm making lumber and I've got wood, well, then I want to, if I need both of those, then I'm going to want to go in there and set my script to say, well, if I get more than, or to keep like 40 wood and 40 lumber. That way, if it gets up to 50, I'll sell 10 of it. And then that way, you don't go to bed and then wake up and all you've got is lumber. You have no woods, and if you were growing grapes or something like that, then the grapes have no wood, um, and vice versa. You don't want to run out of lumber if you've got uniform factories going or mines going and you need lumber, uh, then you'd, you'd want to set up a, a thing so that you can protect yourself from that by selling wood or lumber or whatever, even though you're not really benefiting from it anymore because that, that week of uh, high points for that is over. Uh, that two weeks actually. Uh, so anyway, you know what I'm saying. You don't want to leave yourself open for failure. So keep that in mind when you're setting up your script. Anything like, uh, and that goes true with the with the silos. I can look and say, okay, well, I've got 80, 80 spots in my silo. Well, if I'm doing sugar cane and wheat and brine, and I think that, you know, I don't want to have any brine and not be able to have any wheat or sugar cane. So then I need to set it up to say, well, if I get more than, say, uh, 30 brine, then I want to sell 10 of it, you know, or whatever you feel like is a good amount. However, you do want to... <laughs> get these things set up so that typically you're not getting an overabundance of one thing because you don't want to sit here and keep selling brine and using up all your gas and all your you know time spent selling when you need to be selling baguettes so enough said about that uh, that's just stuff that that you'll figure out as you go and hopefully uh, you've seen enough of the videos and everything to understand that. Now, what I've got here is I'm thinking I'm going to have a road that comes up to about here, and I, I might change that. I don't know, but uh, but so then I'm going around and I'm putting um, these pieces of road so that I can look at it and I can say, okay, I'll have a, a building here and a building here. Of course, along the road. This whole row is going to be buildable, but uh, so some of this is redundant. This spot, it's got road here and it's got road here, but I just need to make sure that I'm covering all the bases, right? So, uh, so put one here. I've got all these spots, and this spot is covered by that. Then this spot covers this one, this one, and this one, and this one covers that one, that one, and that one, and this. And uh, so come, I came around and I'm like, okay, well, this spot doesn't have road. And I, if I do road, it'll be really redundant because this spot has it, this spot has it, this one, this one, and that one because of this road. So this, is the, this spot would require another piece of road. And so it would require me taking up one extra road or one extra space per road and then getting one space. So I'm not gaining anything by putting another piece of road to get this. So what do I do? I put, and this is just what I do, and, uh, and my brother agreed with it. So for his build, we're going with that. Uh, just put a construction worker. It needs no road and it is useful so you know that this may be the only uh, spot on the whole map that we end up with that at the end 
you have to have at least one construction worker. Now, when I get the whole town built, I can delete it and have a blank spot there, or you could put a crop there or whatever. But you can't, unless you're building something like a woodshed, which needs a road, or a, a lo uh, not a logger, a lumberjack, which needs a road. You really, there's nothing that I can think of. Uh, may, if it's on the edge, you could do a neighbor delivery. That doesn't have to be built. But, but everything pretty much that's useful in the game requires a builder to build. Okay, so it doesn't hurt to have at least one builder where at the end of the game, I, that's, you know, what I've got, if I want, if I decide to delete them after I get everything built, then it won't hurt anything. I'll just have a blank spot there. Um, so that's, that's totally your call, but that's what I like to do. And so anyway, that's what I'm doing right now is kind of mapping out, helping my brother map this out so that we can then start filling it in and if I wanted to go ahead and build a couple loggers I can do that but you gotta think too okay these two places right here they need to be something that only gives one shade because I only have one shade difference between storehouse only gives one shade I could put another storehouse here I could put a lumber yard or a woodshed I could put uh, ATVs here but whatever I put here, I, I need to be cognizant of the fact that if it's more than one shade, it's going to shade my trees. And I don't want that. I have, I feel pretty good about the number of trees that I have, but I don't want to hinder their growth in any kind of way. And also, that would be the same is true of this whole, whole row is... The, whatever I put here, it, I'm going to have crops right across the street from it. So it, it has to be only gives off one shade, okay? So that's just, um, you know, things that you need to be aware of. If you use the visualizer, turn the shade on, and then just kind of uh, play with mapping it out a little bit, then you can see, you know, what, like you could put this silo and you could say okay well uh, silos do three shade so one two three had I put that any closer and that's the same with windmills had I put that any closer to this uh, to this area I'd be shading my crops don't want to do that that's very uh, very tedious sometimes but also very important and that's why I say salt don't really care you can't shade it, you can't pollute it, you can't, it's just going to grow. Uh, uh, it needs salt, and it's right by the ocean there, so it's perfect. All right, so I'll be back. Okay, also another tip that um, I think might be worth mentioning real quick is that uh, you see I'm building some uh, logger houses right here. I, I probably want to also put some over like this way as well because here's the thing sometimes you or I, I won't say you sometimes I mess up and I don't um, plan for things quite right and say I needed to expand my tree area and uh, to do that I probably put like three ponds here and then in between here could all be trees all six of these spots okay and so if I put like all of my loggers along here I would have to delete you know like six or eight loggers and I'm gonna have to delete six or eight of something anyway probably but if I don't have to do, replace all of my loggers, if I can just say, well, I could do away with, you know, some of these loggers and, uh, and some of these farmers, because also I put over here farms, 
uh, then that would be um, something else to consider. And if if you're doing like me and you're thinking about windmills right now, uh, I said that this would be good. A good these two would be probably a good ATV spots or something like that. Well, then if you look here. Uh, you're still not going to want to put a windmill right in this location because one, two, three. Uh, so windmills, I want to start, you know, right about here and go down. And uh, I can have those on both sides of the road and then, you know, other things. And so as far as like my my bakeries and my cakeries and whatnot uh, I'm not going to have cakeries these are all going to be bakery items and um, usually uh, when you're doing like the cakeries you have to worry about um, let's see it it doesn't tell you the ingredients but we know from experience that cakes need electricity and I'm trying to remember I don't make pumpkin pies very often but I think they need electricity also so these ones you have to be sure that you put your cakery or you don't have to I like to put them near where they're going to get the appropriate amount of energy passively from these um, power plants with the bakery we don't have to worry about that okay so what we want to do is just uh, strategize if we have like our our, uh, our warehouses you know in this area probably I'm going to want a, a warehouse uh, over here then Cakeries only do two, so if we we could, we're gonna do away with this. Um, okay, so we're going to do away with this road right here. This is not going to be our main road to get across. It's gonna be this one, right? So we could, if you say one, two away from our crops then we can legitimately build um, we're going to need things like ATVs across here but back here we can put bakeries okay and we're going to need um, let's see what all are we going to need we're going to need some for butter for dough and for baguettes okay so we're going to need quite a few so um, you know this would be good they would have access to these um, storehouses and uh, that's really what they're going to need and maybe we'll put another um, storehouse uh, up here or uh, maybe over here or something but anyway we'll we'll try to keep them kind of in this area so that uh, the windmills will have a little farther to run but our bakeries will have easy access to our um, storehouses so anyway that's kind of what we're planning but I just wanted to mention don't concentrate all of your one type of building in a same spot because you know unless you're sure if you've already built this build and you know okay here I've got it mapped out and it's this is just going to be perfect then you, you don't certainly you don't need to worry about it but I haven't built this before and it may turn out that oh I need to rework this area we rework any other areas so keep that in mind when you're unsure of of your build you you don't want to concentrate all of one kind of building on the same area okay okay guys something else worth might be worth mentioning here is what I'm doing is I am 
trying to fill in like I filled in around in the uh, beginning where things I still need to put another ATV or storehouse or something probably going to be an ATV because I've got three storehouses that should be plenty um, so basically I've I've filled in where you know this row can only give one shade I've filled in things that only give one shade now these ones I, th I mentioned before I'm already aware that they can do two shade in this um, section and I am going to be putting some bakeries there and probably add in another few bakeries you know somewhere in this area maybe on this main drag uh, but I'm probably going to have since it takes um, one butter to make dough and two butter to make baguettes I'm probably going to have at least three making butter and then it takes two dough to make baguettes so two making dough and then one making baguettes at least to start with and we'll see you know if we have enough uh, room for expansion beyond that but if we could keep those uh, bakeries producing what that what we've got them set up to do then um, that'll work good only thing is you know with the ones making dough it's going to take five flour one egg and one butter so they've got seven things to carry in the butter that's only five things so the butter ones may be a little faster so we might actually need three of them making dough to keep up but and then and we might need two of them making baguettes to keep up but we'll, we'll see we'll figure it out as we go but that's kind of where I'm I'm thinking about starting now what I wanted to say is, okay, so I've got it figured out so that I can kind of plan things back away from the crops to keep from shading the crops. You need to be careful with that. I can't stress that enough, and I know I have beat that into the ground. But, okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm going along the back of it, and what I can do right now, I've got two... Um, builder houses probably later what I'll do if I, I've thought about reworking this area but I'm probably not just because I'm gonna be lazy and you know it, my brother's learning once I teach him this stuff he can he can make it better on his own next time but and so can you just use your imagination use your creativity use your um, analytical skills and and just try and make things better I need to uh, get rid of some wood because I've got it set up to sell wood and I've been selling wood and and I don't love doing that um, so I'm just trying to keep it flushed out so that I don't trigger anything to sell it okay so what I was saying is and th and so now uh, later I can change get rid of these make a, ro a piece of road here and then put another building you know or a farmer or a, a logger or a tractor or a logger now why I'm going across the back is because if I want to fill in more windmills I rather not have to go all the way to the back if they can just work their way the second layer you know then then that's that's as much as I want them to have to struggle. Now this in the middle, uh, it, it's probably going to get filled in with windmills, honestly. But at least they have a paved road, uh, you know, close enough that that all the way around that, you know, they can get in and out. And this as well. But just along the back row, I'm just trying to, like I say, fill that in with with farmers and loggers, tractors and loggers, because 
they're not going to need to go in and out whereas these windmills they that's what they do they go and they get something from the silo and bring it back you know and the the loggers also have to work their way back to these windmills to give them wood so just be cognizant of that that's all i'm doing right now i uh, just want to give you an update this is like a a slow build but um hopefully it's still informative and helpful so i'll be back okay guys it, look at the mess that i've got going on don't don't worry if when you're building your town out you have to like put down some crops and then remove them or do different things uh, at some point you kind of got to try to get it balanced out and uh, and so uh, you know that's just going to be part of it um, one thing that you can see is I am you know struggling I got to uh, catch up on the wood you get behind on certain things uh, because you're building out you're building out one thing and then you need another it's like you build out all the windmills and you build out all the farmers and whatnot and then you need wood and then you've got to build out your uh, loggers and that's just part of the game and probably uh, part of figuring out the uh, method to the madness there is going to be the difference between you doing a quick build and a slow build. I am actually not doing that well, uh, but, you know, I'm kind of trying to take my time and teach my brother as we go. Um, you can see I've got like a, a ton of windmills here because I could add some oil pumps and just turn this on and that actually might be faster to do it that way instead of these things because at this point they're all taking eight minutes so I had to put eight of them so I can kind of uh, keep up but you could do the oil pumps too uh, just keep that in mind just turn on one of these guys and use your crude oil to to create your energy uh, some of you might find that to be you know less stressful i might end up going that route if if i have to remove these but right now i'm just doing it this way because these aren't really in the way of anything but uh, i'm still building out some uh, loggers probably what I'll do is I'm trying to fill in still around sort of around the edges and more than likely if I have to come down this way with loggers and or tractors I'll go down the middle and just keep these sides uh, right behind where the current windmills are uh, just kind of keep them uh, open now I didn't plan this build as well as I do some of mine so I've got uh, several of these um, uh, what do you call it builders are here because I have run into a situation where there is no road around it uh, and it's kind of like I say if I put a piece of road down here so that I can build here well then I've lost this spot to build so I might as well just use it for a builder and like I say I can delete builders later and, and whatever ideally you wouldn't want to have spots like that as many anyway but uh, it is what it is and um, it, it, it's not so far it's not a horrible build I, I can come up through here with some windmills um, around here and down and around uh, just keep in mind though down in this area especially I'm going to be building some uh, bakeries now you can see uh, I've already got a little bit of butter rolling um, 
and uh, we've got this, the salt and the milk so you know we're just uh, we need more bakeries actually um, I'm trying to get my loggers straightened out and so after this I'm probably just going to go ahead and build some bakeries and then kind of build it out from that point where you know uh, when I build the bakeries then I can say what are we waiting for for this so we're waiting for salt well then add more salt fields and more windmills doing salt if you know and so on you get the idea so that's what we're doing I added the chicken coop the one chicken coop and I already got 10 eggs so um, that it shouldn't be a problem the flour's been I've been selling flour so uh, I'm excited to get a bakery that's doing dough but uh, unfortunately uh, my building has been going slowly so just to let you know be patient with it you'll get there um, it just takes time to to do the build out and uh, just try not to get too impatient or excited and just wait for it so that's where I am and I'll be back okay guys um, we're still at it I've got uh, I've built around 14 loggers okay I think that that is pretty much um, the maximum that I need I've got 15 pieces of wood planted I might could get in one or two more loggers but probably not many what happens is if you get too many they will go home and go to sleep on you I got tired of waiting on the lumber I know I say to be patient and then I'm not patient but I went ahead and deleted my um, uh, what do you call that thing my refinery that makes petroleum for the moment and I um, am utilizing that spot right at this minute for a, another lumber mill so that I can make lumber just a little bit faster with two lumber mills and get this build done. The thing that you got to remember is you only need lumber for like these buildings, uh, the bakeries, and for like the loggers and the tractors and stuff. So the good news is once I get all that out of the way, I can delete the lumber mills and be done with it. I can delete once I'm just worrying, uh, you know, working on uh, stuff like the windmills. I can actually delete my warehouse and put a windmill there because... Um, I won't need energy for anything else so um, that is the good news the bad news is this is just taking a little bit long it's a long process um, but we have already three bakeries doing butter two uh, oh, I clicked on the wrong thing two doing dough and one doing baguettes and we've already got four baguettes and almost five so that's that's working out well it's going along I just um, like I say I get a little impatient and then I'll have to balance things out as we go but right now that's where we are and I'll be back all right guys I haven't really done anything much with this but doggone it I was going to show you the first sale however looks like we're selling eggs uh, but uh, I'm in a spot he's in a spot where it takes two gas to sell I, I don't love it uh, but you know obviously we're, we're doing all right but um, the it looks like um, and sorry for all that racket in the background but we're trying to get his 3d printer to 
print some stuff, but uh, we're struggling. But anyway, uh, I've got enough baguettes to sell baguettes, even though this is really kind of a, a crippled operation. It's not uh, not going the best. I, I had to go make him some dinner, so I'm not even sure what all has sold. I don't know if we're just like making way more sugar than we are salt or exactly what I, I've got tweaking to do on this thing, no doubt. Uh, but just wanted to show y'all the first baguette sale. Only thing is, uh, it got delayed while we sell eggs, so I'll be back. Alright guys, I'm kind of going around the circuit here looking at all these uh, these salt windmills. Some of these are sugar over here, but most of them are salt. And it looks like I just don't have enough brine turned on right now to accommodate those guys. So I think without any further uh, intervention on my part, just turning that up a little bit and get more brine out there is going to help our situation. Um, it looks like from, it's hard to see over here once you get to so many things going and that's uh, that can be an aggravation because you can't scroll or I don't know how to scroll up and down on this side over here so um, basically what I like to do is go to like the trade depot and and it lets you scroll back and forth and I can kind of see what I have like I'll show you what I mean right here uh, like this I can look and say oh well you know the brine is low the sugar cane looks low I'm not see I don't see any right now but anyway I wanted to show you me selling baguettes and they sell for nine hundred and thirteen thousand that is not a bad price um, of course there's like three layers deep that we had to go right we had to do butter uh, dough and then uh, uh, that and it looks like maybe anyway what there's a lot here that I could uh, speed up and um, so I just do it and I say tweak it and I had somebody who uh, English is not their first language they didn't understand what that means it just means that I need to do little adjustments and if you adjust like five things at once then and things get out of whack another direction then you might change another five things and they go another direction and it's it's hard uh, to keep track of what you're really doing that way in my opinion it is much better if you can like just like like over here I turned on like three two or three uh, brine that might have been too many okay so we might start coming up with 10 or 20 of them or something and then I'll have to backtrack I was just trying to hurry up and do it usually I like to do things you know one or one or two at a time just based on my experience that sometimes you can go a little too far and but that's what I mean by tweak it is just make some minor adjustments and get this thing going so I'll be back okay guys so what I did was I uh, I looked and s to see what what is the hold up and it's like I've got dough I need butter and on the dough it's like I need butter got one there but uh, but anyway, butter seems to be a little bit of a hold up. Then when I looked at the butter, it looks like mainly uh, we've got plenty of milk, we've got plenty of sugar, so it looks like mainly salt. So it goes back to to the salt uh, issue. So what I'm doing is um, I'm adding a few more. Uh, let me make sure I said that to salt, yeah. A few more windmills making salt. Well, 
then that's going to also give more of a demand for wood so I'm also building another logger so that's what's happening okay guys I'm going to try something a little bit unconventional I keep getting too many eggs and it's it's kind of annoying you don't really get many points for it or anything so what I'm going to do is I'm putting my chicken house up here and I'm going to create another cow barn right here and uh, that should slow my chicken the eggs down a bit so we'll see how that works out um, it looks like I've got 15 loggers and uh, let me see how many I, I have uh, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 um, farm uh, tractors and so I think what I'm going to do is um, end up deleting these two uh, wind turbines right here and putting uh, a couple more ATVs and see if that helps with the ranching situation. They're doing pretty good, but now I'm going to add some more uh, more cows. So we'll see how that works out. Alright guys, I had to put this greedy little chicken down here because up here it was too slow and we were going to be falling behind on eggs. So I did that. I bought, I built a couple of extra um, bakeries. One of them I went ahead and started it making um, butter and hopefully I can keep up milk wise. It looks like that is my weak point here. If not, then I might be able to reconfigure this and add a couple more cows. Um, the, uh, it looks like I over-engineered this um, area for uh, crops anyway. So maybe I can put another line of cows down that way. But we'll see as it goes. So far this is, this is what I've got. I'm adding and I'm in the process of adding um, some windmills to make more flour because if you look at these they're always lacking flour so that's where we are i'll be back okay guys um i think i'm going to call it a done deal here i've got um everything set up i've got all these windmills making uh, salt sugar and flour um, I don't even have these two um, bakeries turned on yet. Um, I haven't gotten to where I feel good about uh, having, like, I'm struggling to keep up with butter um, with this amount of cows. Maybe I could add another uh, barn but I can't really add it right there let me see one two no um, so I'm not sure what all I can do better but I'm thinking that this build could be better what I ended up doing here is uh, removing that um, what do you call it uh, blah blah woodshed I had a lumber yard there uh, that I was keeping there so that the um, ra ranchers could wouldn't be chasing the wood all around but they were wasting too much time right there when these loggers can just bring the cows wood so I just deleted it and I don't have the issue I don't have lumber for any or wood for anything, but I don't need really to have it because the loggers will take the wood to the um, windmills and it will take it to the cows and the chicken. So this is where it is right now. It's not uh, functioning as well as I would like, but it is um, churning out some baguettes. So good to go. Uh, if you 
use this basic concept, I think you could come up with a, a great little town from doing this. If this was helpful and informative, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching.